and you don't always need to be right. Uh, the exam is not about being James Bond, like spotting, okay, this is Don Perignon uh, 96 from a Magnum bottle. It, it's about being uh, that your arguments are correct and your your justification is, is, is good. It, you yeah. might have a wrong conclusion, but that as long as your thinking process is solid and it makes sense and it's in line with what is in the glass, you will score a lot of the points and and i think you may even pass the exam without knowing exactly any of the wines but then of course you need to have very good arguments for every product uh, otherwise interesting but, but, uh, yeah yeah this was a, this was a surprise for me when you told me uh, last time i just found this out and yeah. i think everybody who is uh, uh, everybody thinks that uh, at the exam you have to nail down the exact mm. the wine the vintage the everything yeah. but this this is interesting, but makes sense that you recognized mm. everything about the wine. You described it, uh, yeah. and your description and reasoning is is uh, correct. Then it's not so important to to nail down the exact wine because if it it is so similar at the technicalities mm. to another one, that, that that's uh, that's enough. What 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 yeah. do they expect from you uh, if you can? Do you have to name the exact location even the subregion even the vine winery or what are mm. the like the expectations yeah you should go as 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 close to the final as possible so so if you can name the producer it, it will be perfect so uh, mm. but but you at at least you should put the region uh and and even subregion uh depending on the area of course in if if you're in New Zealand, Marlborough will be probably completely enough. But if you're saying in, it's from Bordeaux, it's it's not 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 yeah, enough even not to enough. be in the, <laughs> in the village. Uh, so so and and then I, I think you should if, at least try uh, to put it okay. Maybe this is uh, I don't know if, if you have a region and then you should maybe try to sell. Okay, I, I think this could be. Uh, I don't know, Dr. Lawson from uh, from Mosel, because this quality is super high. The wines have a yeah. pungent acidity, and, and this tells me that this could be Behlenderson and Vineyard for this and this region. So, so if you get, I think it will be perfectly enough to be in Mosel. But then, if you can name that that maybe the quality is is such as that this could be from maybe you can mention few producers. So you should always go as as close to the final bottle uh, as possible thanks for watching this video you can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one